Morning everybody. Movie review time. The Lighthouse, directed by Robert Eggers. What's it like? Is it any good? Should you go and see it? Stick around and you'll find out. Now, I have to say that for various reasons I'm not in a very good mood at the moment. A number of things have happened in my life, guys, which have not been entirely positive. And they have, well I wouldn't say I've gotten depressed about them, but I've been feeling a little bit down, got to say it, got to say it, feeling a little bit down. So I do try and be cheerful when I make these videos and I do try and, well I don't try and make you laugh, but I know some of you do find my videos quite amusing and you sometimes say so. And I've got to say, first of all, I'm really appreciative of those comments. And I'm also quite appreciative of the negative comments and some of the things that people have said about me uh, don't bear repeating. So if you're going to make nasty comments, guys, at least make them witty, at least make them humorous. And these reviews, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I don't say these things just to annoy people. I don't make up stuff. I don't do it just to wind people up. If I say I don't like something, then I tell it like it is. So. This is Julian's Honest Reviews. Welcome, I hope you enjoy this one. The Lighthouse. I could not wait for it to end. Oh my God. Now, do you want to know what it's about? Well, it's about a fucking lighthouse. And it's stormy. And it's windy. And it's raining. Have you noticed that Whenever there's a film about a lighthouse, it's always bad weather. Now, okay, it's quite often bad weather when you're in a lighthouse, but it's not always bad weather. How about a bit of sunshine, guys? A bit of blue sky. Why is it that when one of the characters goes out and he has to get some coal from the coal, scuttle, coal shed and he has to bring it back in a wheelbarrow and it's, it's lashed with rain and the wind is blowing and it's being attacked by seagulls. What about a bit of blue sky? What about a little fly, fluffy cumulonimbus clouds up above? What about some bright sunshine? Oh no, oh no, the weather's got to be bad. Anyway, so it's about 1890, something like that. It's uh, somewhere in America, perhaps off the coast of Newfoundland, and there are two guys who are sent out to work in this lighthouse for a four-week stint. And one of them is Willem Dafoe, with this great big kind of Moses Captain Bird's Eye beard, and his big fluffy hair, and he has a pipe like that, and he talks like, he looks a bit like Popeye, and he talks a bit like Popeye, and he says, thank you, thank you, lad, laddie. Thank you, laddie. I'm going to keel haul you, laddie. Like that. So, so he does that. And then the other one is Robert Pattinson. Pattinson? Pattinson? Uh, who has a moustache. Never trust a man with a moustache. Joke, guys. Joke. <laughs> Actually, never trust a man with a moustache. Anyway, uh, the other one is Robert Pattinson. And Willem Dafoe is the lead lighthouse keeper. And Robert Pattinson is the new boy. I suppose you'd call him new boy. In the early 30s, perhaps. Anyway. And they are there in this lighthouse and the weather is bad and the rain is lashing and it's in black and white. It's in, it's in, the film's in black and white. Now, I don't know if back in 1890 in Newfoundland and on the lighthouses there were no colour. There was no, there was no colour. Everything was in black and white. I wasn't alive then. I don't know. Maybe it was in black and white. So this film is in black and white and it just, it's, a, it's, a, it's a compressed screen. So it's not a big wide screen. It's not, it's not Panavision. Is that what they called it? Panavision? Panasonic? Panavision? It's not that wide screen. It's very, it's very compressed. And you know why it's compressed? Because it's, it's claustrophobic. You see, they're, they're closed in. And what happens on this lighthouse in the lashing rain and the wind in this closed in screen in this black and white world in 1890 with, with uh, William Dafoe and by the way, by the way, a lot of the dialogue you can't understand. Partly because they talk like and talk, talk, talk like that. And uh, Robert Pattinson talks in a kind of American accent which kind of drifts in and out. So something it's, uh, sometimes it's very American, sometimes it's not very American. So what happens? Well, what do you think happens? They go fucking mad. Of course they do. People always go mad in black and white films in lighthouses when the weather is bad. And do you think one of them attacks the other? Oh, do I give away the plot like you could fucking work it out for yourself? There are two guys, right? And they're on a lighthouse for four weeks and the weather is bad and they go mad and they start, they start seeing things, they start having visions and they start, uh, there's a mermaid 
uh, or is it a mermaid? And there's a, there's a seagull, and is it, is it a seagull? Well, well yes, it is a seagull, actually. Um, and things happen to them. And does it end well? No, of course it doesn't end well. Does one of them survive? I'm not going to give any plot spoilers in this film. You're going to have to sit through every stinking miserable minute of this film so that you get to the end. And if you can get to the end and you're not off your fucking head, well, then you managed it better than I. I hated it. I knew from the very beginning what was going to happen. And I know... You know, I know it's a statement about madness. I know it's a statement about loneliness and what happens to people when they're thrown together in lighthouses in bad weather. I know all that. I still hated it. I hated every minute of it. And there's this, there's this weird kind of music. Is it music? It's kind of fog horny music. It goes, and that, that going on all the time. And then you go, and, and, and you've got this Robert Patterson American accent that fades in out and they've got, and, and you don't, there's all this bloody sound going on in the theatre. You can't work out a single fucking word. And then, and then, and then they all go mad. And then, uh, and then a spaceship comes and takes them all away and saves them. No, actually, I made that bit up. I'm, nothing so exciting is going to happen in this film. Now, Okay, what can I say that's good? Well, the trouble is, guys, filmmaking these days, uh, I mean, people know how to make uh, a, a technically accomplished film. So they, they've built this lighthouse, it's, it's moody lighting, it's, it's, the, the set is beautifully designed, they've got these, these black 1890s Siemens type clothes, they, they've got big bushy beards and moustaches and cigarettes and pipes and the furniture and, and so on and so forth. So it's all, it's all very well done and yet it's all so dreary. I've seen it all before. Why not make a film on a lighthouse where the sun shines? Why not make a film on a lighthouse where it's nice weather? Now they never, the lighthouses don't work in the summer. Is that it? They don't, you don't need, you don't need a lighthouse in the summer because all the ships go on holiday. So they don't, they don't sail near the rocks. They don't need to be lit up at night because the sun is shining and, and so on and so forth. Is that, is that the case? So it's miserable. It's grim. It's, it's, it's angst. It's moody, black and white, fearsome, mad intense angst from beginning to end. Now, there is, there is a little bit where it, you start to think it's going to go all broke back mountain on you. And you think, ah, oh, you know, this, this is interesting. You know, there's two guys thrown together looking after this like, <laughs> and the bad weather, and, and, and then, but they, it loses its nerve. They don't want to go down the broke back mountain route. So they have to, they have to fight instead. So there's a, there's a bit of, uh, you remember that Alan Bates and Olive Reed film? There's a, there's a, they're not naked, by the way. They're not naked. But there, there is some scuffling, there's some, there's some fighting, and then, then there's, there's some banging, and then some crashing, and then they all go crazy, and then it ends. And I could not get out of there quick enough. So, is it any good? No, it's dreadful. Should you spend your money? No, no. No, 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 no. I know I've had a shit time. Send me the money to me. I need it, but oh, God, don't go and see this film. See you next time.